what we're going to have is if we point our camera to a certain target, an indicator is going to appear above the target. For this, all you're pretty much going to need is two cubes in the physics properties. I've set them to static, made them an actor, and turned the collision bounds on, set it to box. This one is enemy one, and this one is enemy two. For each of them, I basically modeled a small arrow shape. This one is named enemy selector one, and this one's named enemy selector two. Make a cube, control A to set the scale. That's very important. Go into the physics properties, pull on the collision bounds, leave this at box. We're going to set this to ghost. Make sure in the physics properties, turn actor on, parent this to our camera look system. Control P to parent. If we use viewport render and physics visualization, you can see a white outline around the cube that we made. What that is, is basically the physics properties allowing the cube to be sensed by any other object in the scene. And that's exactly what we need since we're going to want this to be sensed by the enemy object. Select our cube, add a game property, rename it to something like selector, go over to the enemy object's logic bricks. In fact, use the first one and then we're going to add a near sensor. The thing we want our near sensor to detect is this cube over here and this cube has the property selector. So for the property put in selector, turn the true on, make the distance something like 11 and always set the reset distance one higher than the distance. Add this to an add controller, get a message actuator and then hook that up. And what we're going to do is send a message over to our indicator object. So put enemy selector one in the two section. For our subjects name it something like select. When this indicator receives the select message from the enemy object, it is then going to turn visible and going to state two. And state 2 is going to be as visibility state. Turn the true on, move this above the message, get a nano controller, do the same for that, hook those two up, get a visibility actuator, turn the visibility off and then hook that up and then move that to the very top. Select our enemy object, add another near sensor, copy the first one, I think there's something like select while you're at it, name this deselect. Turn the true on, make the distance and the reset distance the same, however for this one we're going to have the invert button on, basically meaning that it's going to sense if our cube is not in this radius. Get a message actuator, hook that up and then for the message, instead of select, put deselect. Now when the indicator is logic bricks in state 2, when the indicator is visible, we want it so that when it receives this deselect message, it goes back into state 1, where we've basically told it to always be invisible. Get a state actuator, select state 1, and then hook that up. So now if we hover our cube over the enemy object, the indicator turns on, and if we take our cube off the enemy object, our indicator turns off.